in the next exercise we wanted to take the same uh, script that we created earlier, printing out minimum, maximum, total, count and average, but printing out in a nice way, nicely formatted way, so ev every uh, data is on one line and and aligned li r nicely so the words are aligned to the left and the numbers are aligned to the right and to print it into a file. So let's see how do we do that. Here is the script and uh, let's run it. Let's run the per and uh, count sum. And this is what we get, this is what we got when we finished the script earlier. So we have um, various lengths of lines, in this line we have two numbers. So let's start with this moving this to you know it's on its own line and trying to cl clear up the whole thing. So first of all I put here a new line and then print out the maximum uh, separately and then if you run this script then we see it's uh, on the new line. Now this is just too long this sentence, let's uh, shorten it for total and then move all the numbers to be on one column. So let's first of all remove this and then make sure that all the printing is starting on the same. So here we, we have one space so the result will be the result will be printed on at that point. It, it seems so. So now we have all the values starting on the same um, column. Hopefully this average as well. Let's see how what happens here. So now it's uh, slightly better. Now the average is one left, so we can we could move everything is everything one left. But then this is longer, so it's not right aligned. And no matter what we do here. We won't be able to do right align if we because by left aligning these variables. So if the variable the sum gets bigger, one digit bigger, then the whole thing will move to the right. So it's no good to to use this. So for that we are going to use the printf function as actually was recommended here. But I don't really remember how the printf works. Uh, I know more more or less, but I don't exactly remember. So let's look at the documentation. I type in Perl doc minus f print f. Now just try to forget that that we have this uh, garbage uh, overflowing the, the data. Now the printf works like this. You have um, well the file handle in case you're printing in a file, but for now we are just printing to the screen. A format and then a list of values, but it, it doesn't have any example. So, as you can see there, here it is, it says csprintf for an explanation of the format argument. So the thing is that print would print out to the screen immediately based on this format and the list of values. But there is a separate function called sprintf that works exactly the same except that it doesn't print to the screen, it returns to the, f the, the formatted string to the left hand side. So let's go there quit this one and check the sprintf. So here you can see that sprintf just gets a format and a list and would return something. And this is an example. sprintf gets a format. So the format is is a percentage sign and the letter and in between there can be numbers uh, or some uh, further signs that that further change the behavior of this formatting. And then you get the value that is assigned in M is put in this format character. And if you go further down, you can see here various other formatting uh, characters or, or pairs. And uh, what do they format? We are going to use uh, just as a string, so we'll just represent it as a string for now. And there are lots of others here. And uh, if we go further, here you can see examples or how to, how to do the alignments. So as you can see, if you put a percentage sign and a space and a digit, then it will. It seems that it does right align. Uh, here, it says you just put the number and an S. So let's see how it really needs to to work. So first of all, we put here an F. Right here, we insert an F letter on every row, and then 
instead of embedding the variable, we put here a percentage s and take the variable itself and move it outside. The same here. So we have a percentage s and then the variable is just outside. And here uh, it's a little bit different, so we also put here percentage s. Now you can see these are not aligned, so we have to align them. Okay, and then remove the new line from the end. So the c the printf will get this, the format here and the, the result of this computation. Minimum percentage f. This is minimum and percentage x s again. And this is the maximum. So let's see how this works out now. If I run the script, this is, well, now it's left aligned correctly, but we want to need it to have it right aligned. So let's put here in front of the S um, a number. It won't help. We need, need a, we, we have to make a field, so that the I mean a field which is wide enough. So let's have it ten wide this field, and then run the script again. Now the whole thing moved to the right and is already right aligned. So what we what we said here is basically we told us that to create a field of ten characters and then print this value to the right side of it. That's how strings are printed automatically right aligned. We could also tell it to be left aligned, but well, we don't to, to have right aligned. Now, of course, if the sum or any of the values is going to be longer than 10 digits, then this is going to break again. So it's not like a perfect solution, but for reasonable size of sum, this is going to work. So if uh, instead of, of 10, we would set it here, uh, let's say two, because we remember that most of the numbers are two digit long, then you will, let's say, let's put here two in every place and then see what happens. Then you can see that some of them are aligned correctly, those who are two or less digits, but once you need to print more than two digits, that's overflowing to the right. If I put here three instead of these two, if I put here three and I run it then it's already working but then again if we go to four digits then that is not it's problematic so the best is probably to put a uh, 10 there so I replace it now with 10 well it doesn't really matter if you have to decide how wide you want to this have this field and the last thing we wanted is to have this in a file so we now need to open the file open my, this is the file handler, out, this is the file handle, then I'm opening it to, not to reading, to writing, for writing, and the, the name of the file is, uh, let's say, report.txt, and then I have to write the or die part, which should contain, let's say, the exclamation mark, so this is the error message you would get from the operating system. I don't write the whole text that, that was here. And then here, yeah, the printf needs to know to print to the out. So I embed here the out. Notice that I don't put a comma here because that's how the file handlers are, are separated in these functions. And if I run now the script, it doesn't print anything on the screen. But if I check what's in the report, txt, then you can see that the data is there exactly as earlier was on the screen, as exactly the screen as earlier, uh, and this we wanted in the exercise.